What's up guys and gals and welcome to the first episode in our reboot of Stranded Deep. My name is Splattercat and happy to have you here today as we go back to the deserted islands. And that does not mean that there are candies and cupcakes and things around. They are actually quite lonely. It is bad for the psyche. But anyways, we're going back into Stranded Deep to check out some of the new content. I think it'll be fun. Stranded Deep is one of those games that I wanted to revisit. And given the fact that I've revisited Subnautica like twice now in the same amount of time that I've only done this once, I figured that three series to one, I should come back and check it out and see what the new content looks like. So, without further ado, let's start up a new game and get our eyes on the prize. There's my seed right there. If you wanted to take my seed, this would probably be the least awkward and least illegal way to do it. Take this seed, put it into your world, and I'm sure you can follow along in suit. So anyways, or whatever dress you want to wear, I don't really mind. Doesn't matter to me. You don't have to be in a suit. I'm not a formal guy. Let's ride. We're not going to do the tutorial right now. I don't think that that's a wise idea. We've already done that in the previous series. I know how the whole game works. I've got all the crafting recipes all locked down. So in skipping this, we're basically just saving ourselves some time. It looks like we started on a little island, which is a tad disappointing, but, ooh, a stingray. Disappointment abolished. I'm feeling pretty good now. Hooray for stingrays. I like stingrays. They look like they would enjoy hugs. I like those tanks that they have at the aquarium where the, like, the stingrays will swim around, and then you're like, ah, and you go in and you pet them, and they seem really upset about it. I'm sure it's bad for the stingray, but still, they're all squishy and fun to touch. Let's go to the island right now, and we'll have a look around. The first thing that I like to do, so... Normally what I do is I get sidetracked with all of these wrecks and everything, but we'll worry about wrecks in just a moment instead of being a wreck over some wrecks. What I'm going to do is we're going to stop right here, and we're going to start looking for sticks and stones and things to break our enemy's bones, although our main enemy is a shark, and he doesn't really have bones, so I don't know how we're going to make this work with cartilage, but whatever. It actually looks like this island is going to be a little bit sparse. Hopefully it gives us something to start out with, but I don't think this is going to be a suitable location for a long-term base. It's simply, well, it's elongate. I mean, I might be able to make it work, but in terms of ferrying items around a little bit, I don't have wings. And so, unfortunately, it's going to take a lot of work to get things from one island to the next. It's actually a little bit of a time sink. And so I like it when I start on an island that's big and bulky so that I can just bring everything back here instead of having to gather things up here and then look around for a new location. But it looks like we're going to have to do that because I'm not liking this one. Too much foliage, not enough flat space. Not digging it. Not digging it for right now. And not just because I don't have a shovel, trowel, or any other digging device. Grab the remainder of these rocks. We'll do a little head count of all the random stuff that we have for right now. I think we're probably sitting at about... Okay. Alright, well, let's designate a trash pile. We'll make a pee corner and, like, a poo corner because you got to keep everything all nice and segregated so it isn't nasty. But we definitely need to make a trash pile first. So there we go. So this will be our trash pile. The first thing we do when we get to the natural splendor of the tropic, fill it with our trash. Over to this side right here. Yep, throw that over on that side. I need the knife to get some yucca. So let's find all the yucca on the island. It always seemed a little unfair to me that the plant has yuck at the beginning of its name. That can't be good for self-confidence. Yucca plant's like, I know. It really, I'm pretty hygienic, all things considered. I bathe a lot, and I don't think that I'm that ugly. I think the yuck at the beginning is really just sort of unfair. I don't know what my parents were thinking. Kind of bullshit, but whatever. You take the hand that you're dealt, you know. Like, that's a very positive attitude to have, Yucca. If I was you, I'd be bitching all the time. I'm like, well, I can't move around much. The scenery never changes. I've got Yuck in my name. Pretty disgusted by the whole thing. But then again, I'm a Debbie Downer, so we'll grab the lashings from over here because we will need those to make real tools. For right now, all we have is a knife, and it's like one of those knives you got on Amazon.com for like a buck fifty. Breaks after like four swings. So we'll probably want to make something a little bit more suitable sooner rather than later. So in throwing that into the pile, make a crude axe right there. We will make a... Eh, that's fine for right now. We'll just stick with what we have. Where did the axe go out of curiosity? Ah, there it is. So now we can throw the knife on the ground with the rest of our trash pile. Is that all that's in our trash pile right now? A water bottle and a knife? Huh. That's disappointing. Well, hopefully our trash pile will grow with time. Our pile of stuff. Everybody knows that as an orc boy, the only thing that matters is how big your pile of stuff is. So anyways, let's go over to this side. We'll check this wreck real fast now that we've picked the island clean. Hopefully we'll get some good tools out of this. If we don't, we can look elsewhere. It's not too big of a deal. we got some cloth. Okay, that's a new item. It's one that I've never seen, but it's one that we could play around with. I think you use duct tape and cloth, maybe, to make a band-aid or something like that, based on the research that I have already done previous to this series. I don't know if it's useful for anything else, but I know that you can make a band-aid out of it, just in case we get ourselves all nice and bloody. Throw that on the ground with the rest of the trash. We've got that right there. You know, if this is going to be a realistic ocean, it should have trash floating everywhere that we can harvest. We can use it to make, like, new oil-based materials. It'd be awesome. Like, I have made this trash sword with which to slay the sharks. Let's go over here. Use a Cheetos handle for it. Mmm, delicious Cheetos. Oh, we got skunked right there. That's disappointing. 
If we can get high ground, we can actually see bubbles that are out there. You see that one right there? Yep, let's be on our way and see if we can find ourselves another wreck off and over here. We want to be careful about diving too deep this early on because I think the temperature system has been implemented so that you get sick when you go too deep down into the ocean. Like if you look at the temperature, it'll drop pretty quickly as you go down into the water. So if the temperature gets too low, I think there's a direct correlation between that and you getting sick. Inside this cabinet, we have a band-aid, which actually makes it so that we don't even need the cloth anymore. We'll go back up to the surface, get some oxygen to feed our addiction. Need to go to Oxyholics Anonymous, but I just haven't gotten around to it. The kitten's going to climb up my leg, which is intensely painful, but I'm going to fight through because I enjoy the company of my viewers. And I don't like to make breaks for kitten destruction. So we'll go over to the... Can I get in there? Sometimes, yeah, there's another one back up in... Oh, good, we got a whistle. I don't know what that does. Maybe it'll scare away sharks or something. I don't know. A shark... Is that a lionfish? I don't think I should touch that. Aren't those, like, super painfully, like, unpleasant to be around? I knew a guy that had a lionfish in a tank, and he said when he cleaned it, he had to be really, really careful and wear, like, thick gloves or something like that whenever he got in there to give it the old scrub-a-dub-dub -dub so that it didn't smell like a pet shop in your house. My house smells super like a pet shop right now because kittens love wet food that makes a nasty stink, and so... Unfortunately, it has also given my house that stink. I got a bunch of candles, and they're lit like all the time. Hey, there we go. Good for the candles, not so good for me. Candles, super lit, just sitting around laughing at like nothing, eating all my food. You can't keep Cheetos around this place, especially not Doritos. Guacamole disappears real fast. That's the ultimate stoner food right there, guacamole and taco chips. You'd be on. Tortilla chips, what is this little crater right here? What's going on on this side? Got a little wreck right here. So far, our gathering has not been great. But maybe we can turn it around on the back end. And machete, I will take that. That sounds... Ooh, we got a shark around. Okay, let's take cover behind this real fast. No inventory space left. I'm going to take a swing at him, though, if he tries to get me. Try and keep it to the shallows for right now. And keep something in between me and him, just in case. It might be a good thing that we found a band-aid. We could have a big problem right here. Stay away from me, Fredegern. I think Fredegern was a great white, though. I don't think Fredegern was a tiger shark. That's a long swim to make with a shark barking up our tree. That's right. I got a machete, pal. It'll get all kinds of crazy up in here. It'll get tropical on that ass. You better watch out. We'll do this thing. Well. This is a tad precarious. Damn. Didn't expect my adventures to start out like this. I was hoping we'd be able to avoid him for a little while. Alright, so if he turns that way, I'm going to make a swim for it. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to try. It's not going to work. Oh, damn it. I'm going to stab him a couple times because it seems like a good plan right now while we've got an opening. There we go. And now we'll make for sure. Go, 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 go. Run. Don't get bit in the ass by a shark in the first episode. That will not be the proper tempo to set here. It'll suck. That beat will be lame. All right, so we escaped the shark. I think a good plan for right now might be to bring the raft along with us. Somebody in the audience right now like, you think? Yeah, I, I do think that. I think that very, very handily and heartily and with every ounce of the noise that I can make. And so let's go over here. We'll ditch some of this stuff. Construction pile over there. Yeah, just drop that on your foot. It's all good. Got a whistle. I don't know what that does for me. I assume for later on it's going to be for signaling ships or something. Got that jerry can right there, so if we ever build ourselves an engine, we'll be able to fuel it, which is pretty cool. Throw the lighter over there just for inventory space. Throw the axe right there because we've got a machete now. I think I've already got my paddle, so let's get that, and we'll go to some of these bubbles that are out here. Hopefully keep ourselves occupied for the rest of the episode. Occupied like a bathroom at the carnival. Seriously, that was a long-ass line. Do not use the restroom at the carnival. That will be a wait for you. You will risk wetting yourself. It'll be ugly. Did I go down in here already? I don't recall. The hatch is closed, so... Maybe I didn't. There's a lionfish right there. Let's be careful about him. I don't know if he's going to be able to harm me, but hey, we got some beans. That's pretty cool, just in case you wanted to aid your gastrointestinal system and its fiber content. Another cherry can right there. Lots and lots of fuel. Not looking out for a whole lot of the good stuff just yet, though. We got another paddle right there and some more cloth. All right, I'll take them. On this side, we got nothing. Skunk twice, huh? We're getting some bad luck right now. It's not like that bad, but... It's better luck than that skeleton had right there, so at least we got to be positive about that. It could be a skeleton by now. That would totally suck unless you were like one of those animated skeletons from like a fantasy world where you could chase little kids around and like rob caravans and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. And then you'd be undead so you wouldn't have to worry about dying or like going to jail or anything either. You would be absolved of all moral integrity. You could just be an undead skeleton causing all kinds of problems. I guess I'll go out to this one right here, although we are kind of full up right now. 
Eh, we'll make it work. It'll all work. I think we should be good. I don't see the shark anywhere. So anyways, we got to come up with a humorous name for him too. Otherwise, he's going to feel left out. We can't name him Fredegurn because he's obviously the respawn iteration of shark that we haven't had before. So since he's a new shark, I feel it's only fair that we give him a new name so he doesn't share the name that the shark had in the previous series. Is that a worm? What is that? Kind of parasite floating around. Ew. Okay, so we got an engine from right there. We got a couple little goodies. The engine will be nice because we can use that if we combine it with four other things. Ah, we got a torch. So if we press the R key, that appears to be permanently equipped now, which is pretty badass. We can't carry the flare, but the flare sucks anyways. There's no reason to have it, so I'm just going to leave it. Oh, calm down. You're not drowning. Everything's fine. You held your breath for like eight seconds. You'll be good. Nothing to worry about here. It's all taken care of. See, you've got your oxygen. You're feeling better now. Nothing to complain about. Also, we've got a couple of good things. So there's four parts to build yourself an engine. There's an engine, there's a carburetor, there's a fuel tank, and there's a propeller. And so if you have those four things, you should be able to build yourself an engine, which you can then mount on the back of a raft to get around a little bit quicker, because believe you me, it is quite awful sailing around with the default raft. It takes a while. It takes a very, very long time to get around, and it can be a major, major detriment to a series, especially if you're, like, filming or whatever. And so unless you like big periods of dead time, the engine is a must-have. Other jerry can. There we go. We got some baked beans up in here in case we get hungry. Got a little bit of cloth. We got that right there. Throw the engine in the pile as well. The lantern will be nice for lighting our way. I'll probably try and set that up somewhere fairly ostentatious so that we can see it pretty far off in the distance because the illumination will show up. Maybe put it on top of this rock right here. Come on, you can make it. I believe in your free climbing abilities. There we go. If I put you right there, you're going to fall over. Probably. All right. Well, maybe I'll sit you over here then. Huh? What do you think about this real estate? Eh, I'm kind of not sold on it. I think obviously with depreciation, I don't think this one's going to hold out for much. I think that it's probably not going to gain value over time, I'll tell you that. I mean, eh. Whatever. It's upside down, but that works for me. Turn the little guy on. I don't think that it has... Does it? Let me check. I don't think it has fuel or anything like that, so it should be fine where it is. Drop it like right... Come on, buddy. I believe in you right now, and you're making this difficult. Fine then. I didn't want to orient you anyways. I'll just leave you on top of that rock because you can see it from a distance and it'll actually make it so that when we're navigating we can see what island is ours just in case we're in doubt and feeling the need to turn around and worry about our status. That's all good right there. This is pretty much all that the island had to offer. Disappointed with it so far. And I think we are going to have to go to another island before we're actually going to be able to make something of ourselves or make something out of the bounty that's contained here. The island, I think it's large enough to where we can make like an okay little base out here, but it's not the prime location that I was looking for. So let's go ahead and we'll head to a new location. I'm going to pick up all the building materials for right now. We'll come back for all the supplementary stuff later once we actually have a place for it. I think we've got a machete. We've got some sticks. Everything should be good for right now. Let's jump onto our raft and we'll be the hell on out of here. I'm going to make a cut till we go to the next island. I don't think there's any reason to bore you with the fact that I'm sailing in between locations. But that one looks fine. It's already oriented with our raft, so I will see you all there. That well, was a little bit of a trip, but in the end, I think we got a better island out of it. This one looks a little bit larger, and so we won't know until we get closer and the rocks start to draw in. But this one looks pretty good. I don't know. We're still going to have to go back and get a lot of our stuff from the other island, which is obviously a fairly time-consuming process. But for right now, I'm really pleased with where we're at. I think that this island's looking good. We might be able to build some foundations that actually connect this little island over here with the other island. Oh, it's turned out, and maybe it's a little bit smaller than I thought. I don't know. Either way, we're going to have to settle eventually and find a location to call home. And this one seems to be a little bit larger than the last. So maybe building on this little jetty over here, or like, I don't know. It might be kind of cool to put our base out on this little island and then connect it somehow. That might be fun. I'll give it some thought. I'd like to make a base that's actually above the water. That'd be a, a blast, like a base that's actually suspended over the ocean. You could just have like a hole in the floor and like fish through it or whatever. I'm thinking in terms of real life, but in terms of the gameplay, it's kind of cool. It's going to be nighttime right now, so it is going to be a little bit dark for a day or two. I'm just joking. It's only going to be dark for a night, but anyways... I don't think we'll be able to do any wreck diving. We do have a flashlight, which will make this whole thing easier. I love that change. Like, seriously, that's one of the greatest changes ever. The flashlight is just, like, stored on your person. You don't have to worry about it anymore. It's the best, and I applaud that decision. We'll throw these in here, get our big old pile of sticks. We'll gather everything from this island as well. What is that? Oh, it's the, it's the dead X box. It's the mysterious package. 
Because why not? Yeah, sure, because why not? There's probably a severed head or something inside of it. I don't see any, like, stains, though, on the bottom of the box, unless they wrapped it really well with saran wrap. I don't want to go into this right now, because I don't want to give, like, that inner thought. I'm giving away my inner thoughts about, like, murdering people and mailing body parts around, and I think that might negatively affect the channel. Never mind, let's continue forward. We're not going to think about it. But yeah, I think you would need a lot of saran wrap while we're on the subject. Like, you know, saran wrap and maybe duct tape it a little bit, dip it in wax or something to keep the dogs off of it. I don't know. That'd be a weird situation, mailing a severed head through the mail. Then again, I've heard of weirder things going through the mail, so I don't know. I know people who used to routinely mail all kinds of weird clandestine shit through UPS or whatever, and they don't check it. They just, like, mail it wherever it's supposed to be going. You know, dog sniffing or whatever. Grab some sticks. I think we should have enough to get started over here. I have my machete, so we'll get that yucca plant taken care of. And by taken care of, I mean we're going to murk it real fast. Get a couple of lashings right there. Not in the physical sense. They're not going to beat us like a Roman guard. Not that sort of lashing, but the sort of lashing that we need in order to get things put together. Did I make that joke last time? It's been so long since my last series, I'm sure there's going to be some overlap between the improv that I do here. We'll go ahead and throw some potatoes in our mouths. Mm -mm -mm. And everything should be A-OK. -okay. I believe... Well, it's a little bit barren over here, but what it does have is open building space. And you've got to, like, think about that in terms of just, like, what you can get done with the island that you have. And with building space, I think we'll be alright. I mean, I'd love to put things up on risers and have some kind of base out here over the ocean. But I don't know that it would work so well, or if that's even something that's possible to accomplish. Eh, for right now... Probably the wisest idea to start wreck diving and making sure that we have everything from here, too. Because I can't decide what we're actually going to aspire to be and do with our time until we have, like, engines and things like that to make everything easier. So let's run back on out here. I don't see any sharks around. That's mighty fantastic. We'll dive down into the ocean. We'll get things done. It'll be all sexy schmexy. I don't actually think this wreck is going to be very large. We've got bubbles right here, but it's going to be difficult to see... Oh, Stingray. Oh my god, he rolled up on us quick. Hopefully they're not hostile. I don't want to get myself gouged on in here. Got some morphine in there. Very useful item. If you don't know what morphine's for, it's for if you break your arm. So apparently in this game, when you break your arm, you can actually just stab yourself with morphine and it fixes the whole thing. I'm going to get another item out just in case because they've changed the way the contextual menus work as well. Which has me all kinds of nervous that I'm going to accidentally use an item. we got a flare gun. I don't know what we would use that for, but hell, I'm going to try. We've got a locker, which looks like it's going to be a... Oh, there's a pocket knife in there, just in case you wanted a freebie. And then I think that's everything that we have in here. We got a... Yeah, I think that's it. I'm looking at the model, trying to identify if I've seen it before. And so let's swim back now. Did I swim out here, or did I raft out here? I swam out here, because I need to find our way back to our previous island, because we don't have a compass or anything like that to take headings with just yet. We'll swim back to shore. Hopefully, I'll get another eye view on another set of bubbles or something right there. Bubbles come in sets. I learned that the other day. I said, so if you've got a group of bubbles, what do you call that? Because I thought it would be something cute like a floof of bubbles or something like It was not. It was just a set of bubbles. Very, very simple. Very, very utilitarian. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. I think we should change the moniker around a little bit, though. Make it a tad more interesting for the kids. We've got nothing out that way. That's the one that we already hit. The bubbles, unfortunately, are really, really easy to see at night, but that's the hardest time to dive. During the day, they're hard to see, but it's easy to dive, and so it's like you trade one problem for the next when you're trying to do these wreck dives at the outset of your adventures. I'll check this guy over here because sometimes there's a tool chest or something else sitting on the front of it, and if we could get some more freebies, that'd make me mighty happy, like a nice axe or something. Some duct tape, that works. We're going to need that anyways once we start doing some later on stuff. So I'll add that to the pile over on the side. We'll go get our other stuff in between episodes maybe. It was a long paddle to get over here. I probably picked like, like the furthest away island that I possibly could have because there was a buoy in between it. Then there was like extra space in between the buoy and this. It took a great deal of time to come in between here and there. What's inside of here? Nothing on the outside. Ah, there we go. Some flippers! Hell yeah! So now we've got... Whoa, those make you super fast. Damn, Speedy Gonzalez! Look at that right there. We're able to haul with these things on. Good. If we could find oats, we'd have ourselves some music. Alright, well, let's jump up on some rocks real fast. There's a bunch of fish swimming around. Not gonna worry about them until I get all these wrecks dealt with. I don't see anything further out that way. We're looking good so far. The flippers are a major, major comeuppance, and I'm excited about them. This is actually going to be one of those things that changes the way that we project ourselves throughout the course of the game. Like, our trajectory has gotten so much easier with the flippers, because now my recommendation would be not even to use the raft anymore. I would just swim everywhere. It'll make your life easier, and you can get rid of the paddle. Still, let's go out here. Did I get this? This might be that location I already hit. 
Yeah, it is. I think this is the one that we already got. Is the cabinet open? Yeah, cabinet's all nice and open because we are not good at being a house guest and we do not close the things. That's one of my mom's giant pet peeves. I never close cabinets. I just leave them like laying open after I get stuff done. Now that I live in my own house and whatnot, it's pretty sweet because I can just live like a sow. But, you know, back in the day, it represented a real problem for me. Can I see my feet yet? No, I can't. Well, damn. All I ever wanted was to see my feet. Let's drop off. We'll make a new trash pile over here. Got the morphine, got the knife, got that right there. Two paddles, which I don't think we will any longer need. Swimming through the ocean seems risky because there are sharks and nasty things out there that do like the taste of us. Although I read somewhere that sharks don't like the taste of human. Like, they tend to bite us and take a big chomp out of us and then let go. And then you're like, eh, whatever. It doesn't do us much good because we're already bitten in half. But apparently they don't like the way that we taste. I don't know how we would change that or make it better. Let's make a campfire for a minute. I'll probably put it, I don't know. Somewhere visible or something. Right there seems good. And then in order to get this thing fully fleshed out, I wanted to have like all the bells and whistles. I don't know why a fire would need bells or whistles, but you know what? It's going to have them because, damn it, I like to live life on the edge. I like to live at the apex of previous technology. Prehistoric technology, that is. We'll throw these over here. Throw those right there. Good, good, good. Got those. We're going to need some lashings. I don't remember exactly how much of this it takes to work, but I recall it being a lot, so I'm just going to bring a lot over. And if we have a surplus, that'll be great with an excess of sir at the front end, I hope, since it's me being involved with it. I consider myself to be somewhat of a sir. And then we'll go fire pit. After the fire pit, we shall then go fire spit. There it is. They rhyme. That's extra fun. Turn the fire pit into a fire spit. Build that thing up like we don't give a shit. And then we'll grab that right there. Good, good, good. We can now cook stuff. So I guess that's pretty awesome. I wasn't planning on doing any frontier cooking just yet. And I think this is a pretty good spot to break off the episode. My name is Splattercat. Welcome back to Stranded Deep. I'm going to ferry some more stuff back over from where we came. I'll come back after I get that done with the next episode. Hopefully we'll get some cool stuff done. We'll chop down some trees and make things work. I'll see you all there. Hi, do everybody.